All right, uh, start with fetid pools into swamp and then just slam a bunch of rat colonies. That is the plan. This is looking like a decent enough hand for game one of our tournament here. We're against Vicey. Vicey? Hello and good luck. Give him the hello. No, not an emote. I should maybe just be do some nice emoting every once in a while. Try to stay away from them because too often they can construed in a negative light. Well, uh, looks like our opponent has finally passed over to us. I think that they're just not here because they timed out entirely. We might have that happen again. Oh, this is interesting. It's the opponent's turn and that timer came up immediately, so they must have updated it. I had a video complaining about this, so I'm really glad that they switched that. That's awesome. Because I think that our opponent's disconnection drop. And... Although, okay. Timer ran out. Opponent doesn't have any timeouts. Nothing happened? Hmm. Interesting. Uh. So, how does this work? How does their timer run out, and then they sit here for this long? I need to run my own timer on this and see how long it takes after their timer has run out. Okay, well, uh, apparently our opponent, time, <laughs> our opponent timed out, and yeah, that was really strange that it didn't show the timer. Maybe a visual bug? I don't know. I'll have to report that. Let's go for game two, I suppose. Nice win. All right, our opponent's playing first. Ooh, nice. All right, this hand is about as good as our last one, which is not good, because I was really excited about that last hand. This one actually has the Tetsuko, which is pretty sweet. No chart, of course, but still, very, very nice start. We'd really like to see, like, a negate or admiral's orders. Probably a negate, just to make sure that we don't lose our rat colonies here. So, Arch of Orozka and Forest. Let's get them, boys. Eat them alive. Grow from the ashes. Okay, so they're just basically slowly ramping here. Ah, they needed blue. Fair. We're gonna Boneyard, Colony. The colors that they're in, they probably don't have a board wipe. Possible Lake and Rivers Rebuke, but that would be next turn anyways. Right now, we can just go Tetsuko and Rat Colony and smash in for 12. Bounty of Luxa. Okay, that's not nearly enough. Let's be real greedy. And... Tenya. Boom. All right. So they drew an extra card, and game over? I can't think of anything that they can play here unless, like if they go gift to maybe add two totally different colors so that they can do like a sweltering sun or a golden demise, which would be bad. I, I would have really preferred to have a negate up here. Like, instead of playing a fourth rat colony, if I held up negate, you can see just how awesome that would be. I like that our opponent is thinking this hard, because that means they don't have an easy way to deal with this. Mm 
River's Rebuke is certainly an out for now. It does put them back into the hole almost immediately, though. Oh, make it 5-5? Five, five? Sure. GG! 20 unblockable damage! <laughs> Ooh. We did exactly what we wanted. Oh no, this one's so close to being good. Um, I have 21 cards. I, I just don't think I can do it. Not if I'm on the play. If I was on the draw, maybe. At least we mulligan fairly effectively. If we end up with two or three rats, we're in pretty decent shape. They add up very quickly. Oh no. Do I keep this one and hope that I draw another land? I'm now going to be able to scry. I think I do. Boy, this is clunky. Because we have Evolving Wild, but we can't use it. Oh no. Yeah, I think... I think this one's it. Because we're going to have two tap lands next turn, so we can't even play a rat yet. Which is not where I want to be. I think I actually just get an island. I won't have enough for a little while to play Rat Colony, but I might be able to try and get like an Admiral's Orders off or something. We've got a lot of swamps. It's really easy for us to get swamps in general. If we're going to get lands, it's going to be swamps. Like that. Oh. I'm guessing this is going to get picked off by a fanatical firebrand and we're just going to get smashed by an Earthshaker. It's going to be very hard for us to recover from this. We're just so far behind already. Sure. Clunky, awkward draw, and a mulligan. Unfortunately... I think it's just too much for us to handle here. If they'd been a bit of a slower deck or had less of a good start, maybe we'd have a chance to recover, but this hand has been really awful, and their hand has been great. Yep. Oh wow, yeah, opponent's got an excellent, excellent hand, just curving out really, really well. Nothing we can do about that, we just ended up with, uh, Really bad draw and a mulligan. This hand is a lot better. So we'll keep this, search for an island, and start slamming some rats. We need a Tetsuko, but we can certainly handle it by just playing rats, honestly. We have to play smart depending on what they're doing, though. If they're playing white, We've got to know to play around and settle the wreckages and things like that. Blue. Kind of plays an island, and... Let's chitter on in there. This chart, of course, is excellent. So they're blue-black. Playing our land first in case they have sensor. Not super likely, but just in case. Moment of craving. There's options as to what to do there. We could have attacked first to try and chart a course. But I want to just go for more damage. It's more likely, I think, that they're going to be the control deck. And obviously now that seems to have been borne out. Counter magic, yep. If we can hit one more land, Charter Course will get us a lot of gas, I hope. Sure. 
and they'll be more than willing to trade that off, which is unfortunate. Tetsuko is what we're looking for. Whoa, they discarded Search for Ascanta. That's scary. They might have just really needed the lands. No, don't tap the island. Silly game. We're using auto-tap functions because it's just faster now, but you've got to be careful about what it highlights. I'm really hoping that we draw something like... Vanquisher's Banner would actually be excellent. That's kind of the number one thing I could use. Sure. <laughs> um, I'm not that concerned about the Ravenous Chupacabra right now. We just need to get rats down and then be able to kill whatever blockers are in the way then. Ravenous Chupacabra is not going to kill us anytime soon. Something like Scarab God is a lot scarier. Oh, Tetsuko. Um, I kind of want to make them use another turn on it, but then they're able to block. Alright, let's just Tetsuko Rat Colony. We have lethal next turn. Uh, do they have anything great to get back? At the Nezahal Champion, they've got our own Rat Colonies, but none of that matters. All of it gets through unblockable. They have to kill Tetsuko, basically. Alright. They're desperately looking for an answer. They do get a lot of cards. Whew. Discard two more champions. Wow. Something like Cast Down will save them. I'm going to cycle Fetid Pools. Because if I can hit a rat here, then even if they have a Cast Down for one of the rat colonies, then we're still okay. Yeah. Oh, I wish we had an Admiral's Orders. Yep. So close. We almost had them. Drawing four cards is pretty good, though. Golden Demise, maybe? Ravenous Chupacabra killed Tetsuko. Sure. I'm wondering about killing this because it doesn't come back, but I guess it's Scarab God. The cheap Champion of Wills is scary right now. Or Champion of Wits, sorry. They can replay it, but then they can't buy Champion of Wits for four back out of their graveyard again. So close. Almost at it. This is a sweet list, though. They should take Chupacabra. No? Okay. I, I can see why they would do that. Another Tetsuko is scary, scary, scary for them. I mean, it's, it's just instant death. Unless they have the removal. Thinking. Chart of course is certainly a thing. We're just gonna play it even though we have to discard. They might have counter magic. 
So it's very likely they have counter magic. Come on, Tetsuko. One time, dealer, please. That's all I need. I've seen lists of this with Bontu's Monument, but I didn't really like that myself. Because I've, I've looked over a few brews. Kind of changed a lot of things and came up with something myself. We do not want to block that because they want to use Scare of God and buy it back. And I'm not excited for that. We've got enough life that it does not matter the two damage is irrelevant. They're just trying to get it into their grave so they can buy it back. Come on, Tetsuko. Every time that I see a blue card, I'm like, yes! And then it's not. I think Scarab God has us in his clutches now. I don't think we're going to be able to get out from under that. They draw a lot of cards by getting a champion online here. If I had a second blue source, I would maybe be okay, because I might be able to top deck Tetsuko and counter their counter for it, or removal for it, because I'd say there's a really good chance they have it. Sadly, there's not really much point in playing the Ravenous Chupacabra. I'd rather just hold up Negate, something like... Golden Demise is the most likely thing to totally destroy us at this point. There's not really good options. Like, I really need to hold up the negate. Like, we're in a bad way no matter what we're doing here. Unless it's Tetsuko. However, I think that it's worse to leave negate down, because that's the way that we'll for sure lose the game, like, right then. Got Tetsuko. Sure. I wonder if I should put in a Liliana into the deck just so that we can buy our own Tetsuko's back. I do have a Liliana's Death's Mastery. That's a thing that we could certainly do. It's just such a key card to the deck. Right. I guess I'll Chupacabra. They probably have a counter spell for it, and then they use Scare of God to buy that back, and then it starts the chain because they can. Yeah. I honestly think I have to counter that. I maybe shouldn't have even played this Chupacabra because it starts such an awful awful nasty chain here against us because they use ravenous chupacabra out of our graveyard to get back a ravenous chupacabra <laughs> like to kill this ravenous chupacabra to then get it back and just like they wipe everything slowly um not much point in killing the scarab god i think they will just get rid of one of the four fours they'll buy another one back Yeah, I, I think I made a mistake there, because I was kind of forced to negate it, and I don't want to use a negate for anything, because realistically our opponent is 100%. Like, they sat there and thought about using the negate against our negate. Like, they have another negate or something. Oh, wow, they hit the fourth champion. Jeez. Opponent's draw has been pretty good, too. Like, sure, they drew a lot of cards, but they drew two champions off of the first one. That's really what has set a lot of this off. Uh, in any case, they have another counter spell, and they're going to hold it for Tetsuko now. 
Whereas if I had waited, held on my negate, I might have a chance to actually get in here. Oh. Well, I mean, it's going to be countered, but hey. No? Ca they can't cast it down. They don't have a ravenous chupacabra in a graveyard. Well, this feels like a trap, but I have to go for it. So... Rask is contempt. Yeah, which makes sense. We can just scoop them up at that point. They're so far ahead, and that game's gonna take a really long time. Yikes. These hands have been... Ugly. Uh, I like Tetsuko. Our opponent's going first. I guess I keep it. If we get a single island, this hand's great. Sure. Opponent with a really nice aggressive start again. Slamming those turn one fanatical firebrands. Last time they had, like, three or four. Hopefully they don't have too many this time, because they do blank our rat colony pretty well. I'd rather it be something like Darien Buccaneer, honestly. So we're going to play Umazawa here, because it actually stops their attack a little bit. They can still get in with Darien Buccaneer, because they're fanatical firebrand. Can pop it. Sure. That also works. This is a very small number of rats for a deck with 20. Alright, let's rat colony it up. I think that our, our little boys aren't enough this time, though. Nice. Yeah, opponent's got just a fantastic hand against us this game. And... Boyer, we, we're we just doing everything we need to do, let me just say. This is this is perfect. Uh, let's throw away pull from tomorrow. And I guess we'll play a rat colony. We can play a ravenous chupacabra next turn. Dragoon runner before combat. And then on crop crasher, because they just basically have lethal. Sure. Although, yeah, that doesn't make any sense why you play that first at all. So we have to kill the on crop crasher. And we're still dead. Yeah, that was a really, really good hand for our opponent. <laughs> Could not have really asked for anything better than that. Not against our deck, that's for sure. Pretty incredible. Alright. Well. You win some, some you lose, and this one we lost a little bit, but this deck was fun. I've played it with it a little bit more than this and had some success. I don't think it's incredible or anything, but it's definitely a lot of fun, and when you can get off a bunch of rats really, really early with Tetsuko, it's pretty sweet. If you have things like Mastermind's Acquisitions or Liliana's Death's Mastery, maybe those would be good additions, because you would be able to buy back your Tetsukos, which, as we saw is a very, very key card in this deck. It's super important for us to get Tetsukos down early and often so we can get the rat colonies through. Uh, I would definitely like to have something other than Ravenous Chupacabra. It's just a little too slow for this deck. We want some instant speed removal if we can, so we can just keep the pressure up on against our opponents. Um, yeah, I think that this was pretty fun, though. I hope everybody enjoyed it. And next week, we'll have a little bit more luck, be able to do another one of these and crush it. So I will see you next time. I hope you have a wonderful week. And as usual, follow, like, subscribe, check out the Patreon, all that jazz. I really do appreciate the support. It's been fun doing this for a while. And it's all because of the wonderful people that happen to support me and like my stuff. So see you then.